The hurricanes, the flooding in Houston, uh, wildfires in California, and some other events have kind of put a point on the fact that our utility companies have decreased their investment in maintaining the grid. And where they used to go out in two days and get everybody fixed up uh, after a storm, now it's two weeks or two months, or in the case of Puerto Rico, uh, maybe sometime next year. And so large swaths of the population, two, three, four hundred thousand 400,000 people, can be without electricity um, for um, a couple of weeks. After Hurricane Sandy, those poor people in New Jersey were 45 days without electricity. And so why is that an issue? Well, they all go get home generators and fire those up, and they don't want to lose the electricity, so they refill the gas tank with a generator running, and you have fires breaking out all over the city. It's like a fireman's nightmare. It's just a mess. There has to be a better way. What I'm about right now is I think we need battery backup for our solar. Uh, we need it on a global scale. We need it on a national scale. We need it on a state scale. We need it on a city scale. And you need it in your home. And we need a lot of it. We need to come to grips with the fact that there is plenty of energy now from the sun to power everything we're doing, but it gets a little thin at night. Or on days like today when we have very bad weather. And so we need to develop a strategy for converting to a, uh, a realistic uh, solar energy storage scenario that is not to keep your freezer going for a day, but means taking care of your electricity needs 24-7, 365 days a year.